What's going on, guys? Cardi B wants you to know that she is no longer a feminist and that she's an old fool. Oops, I mean old school. My bad. She's talking out of both sides of her BBL. Yes, that's right. Does she even know what a feminist is? She says she's not a feminist because she believes in 50-50. I'm going to need her and many other women out here to know what a feminist is. So many people misuse and redefine the word. If she understood what feminist meant, she would know what she described as a feminist. One of the bases of feminism was so women could work and not be dependent on a man. She has hypergamy confused with feminism i'm going to play this clip for you guys and i will come back and i will go in on her because i'm tired of women like her she is problematic she is not a good role model she's very trashy so yeah take a listen and i'll be back if, if you're gonna be the type of bitch that like a nigga you want a nigga to take care of you and everything but it's like all right you have to like pick a balance like it's like you cannot just be a bitch that's like oh and my man take care of me he does it the bills but it's like what do you do what are you contributing like it's like all right like you can't be complaining like oh i cook i clean every day it's like okay but you don't work you don't contribute to the house so i just feel like it's like and like sometimes people be like oh so this is like really controversial right cool I feel like it's very controversial when, like, be like, oh, I don't go 50-50. But it's like, all right. So if you and your man make the same amount of, of money, right? Mm -hmm. But only your man is the one that paying all the bills. How you ever going to save up to, like, buy a house or buy a business? Because he's never going to be able to afford to. So it's like certain things is like a, a joint thing to do. You, you know gotta what I'm work saying? together. Like, it's, like, it's like a work together, but I just be feeling like sometimes people, like the internet, really be having people fucked up from like real reality type shit. So it's like, it's like, all right. So your your mom and dad used to work every single day, right? Mm -hmm. So your mom and dad used to work every single day, so your mom could save her money and what buy purses, and your dad just pay all the bills. That's not how it works. Because no. even your mom was in the house cooking and cleaning every day. Your dad was working, or they was both working too. To pay both the bills, like y'all right. be acting like y'all don't know what the fuck that is like no more. Like, come on. And your mom money was your was your dad money, and your dad money was your mom money. Like, it was it was like that. Yeah. It was, was it, like it's like I, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm not a feminist anymore because it's like sometimes it's like y'all bitches don't be living in the real world. Right. Y'all y'all not living there. Y'all be talking about my money is my money and his money is my money. Shit. I mean, my money is my money, his money is my money, but like oh! my money is my money, like. My money is my money and his money is his money, but it's like, but you know, like, it's like we both spend money on each other and right. everything. And it's like, if we want to go and everything, it's like, all right, like, if we're going to buy a house, like, let's go half and half. And it's like, if we're going to buy. It's not a one way street. It's not a one way street. Like, it's like, if we're going to buy, like, a like crazy ex expensive furniture, it's like, all right, you buy the couch and I buy the dining room set. Like, it's like, it's. It's a it's a both thing like right. it's a both thing because then when you leave like bitch you really leave with nothing because you was like a bitch hey, but he had to pay all the bills well you now you divorced and you don't got not no house no nothing you don't you don't got shit you don't got shit mm -hmm. you don't even got a couch bitch mm -hmm. you don't even got a couch. that's but that's my thought I'm really old school I'm old school uh, I'm old school too <laughs> ah. so you heard it. She is definitely confused. She has hypergamy, confused with feminism. She said that she's old school. <laughs> I'm not sure what old school she's referring to. She makes more money than him. She's half naked and is definitely not home taking care of the kids while he works. This is not <laughs> traditional. And your money is yours and his money is his. That's not traditional. Cardi B is not in a traditional marriage. In a traditional household, the man is the breadwinner, carries the financial burden. The wife stays at home and takes care of the house and children. Cardi B is not the breadwinner. She earns more than upset. Wait, <laughs> upset. Yeah, Offset, that's his name. Well, Upset, same thing, because he gets her upset all the time when she's crying her eyes out on the internet. I'll get to that in a minute. There's nothing traditional about splitting bills with a grown man. Part of being a man, a husband, and a father is being a provider. And 
and a leader. A leader of the household. If you're married to a hardworking man with morals, you know, values, he knows that his woman's main job starts at home. He's going to make sure the bills are paid and there's a roof over his wife and his kids' heads and he's providing the wife with what she needs. Being a wife and a mother is a job. A very honorable one at that Okay? Why marry a man that still needs for you to have a job outside and come back home to a 24-7 job too? Being a mother is a job, a 24-7 job. Okay? So, Cardi B is not in a traditional marriage. Don't let that fool fool you, okay? Her man openly cheats and has several kids by multiple women. That is not traditional. No one should be taking this Cardi B chick seriously. She is confused and she is a joke. Cardi B is a joke. A chick who's committed to a serial cheater couldn't tell me anything. This is the same chick who has filed three times to divorce, upset, or at least threatened to divorce upset are you kidding me this guy doesn't even respect her enough to keep his cheating on the low low he's reckless with it he's sloppy with it he doesn't value her he knows she's full of ish when she's saying she's leaving she will never leave that's why he keeps doing it over and over and you know what that relationship was a business relationship. You know, his team reached out to her team because she was popping. You know, they put them together. They went out on a date at the Super Bowl. How many years ago? I don't know. I don't remember. And um, yeah, fake relationships. That's what they do. And I believe she fell in love. You know, which I understand. If you're going to be with someone... You know, all the time. You gonna sometimes it, it happens. So I get it. She fell for him, and he did not fall for her, which is why he still can cheat and doesn't care. Which is why he is so reckless and sloppy with his cheating. And you ever see them together? He just be looking miserable. He looked like he wished he was anywhere but there, right? He looked like he wished he was in someone else's. You know what I mean? <laughs> This guy is does is not in love with her. I feel like he's still treating it as a business relationship. His heart is not in it, even though, you know, it's, it's a business relationship. That's what they do, right? She fell for him, but he didn't fall for her. It's obvious. It's so obvious. She's going around making a fool out of herself. She's catching charges over him. She, like, come on. Come on. You're supposed to be Cardi B. He is Mr. Cardi B. Yet, you acting like you need him when he needs you. Right? So, the last time they, they, they broke up, she came out and admitted that they've been broke up for a while, for a hot minute. Right? She just didn't know how to tell everyone that they are done. So when she put that out there, the next day, it's like he was waiting, upset. Yes, upset was waiting for her to put it out there because he was seen with another woman, right? Okay, okay. Then a few days later was his birthday or maybe a week later was his birthday and guess what? He was seen Wait, Jade. Jade is the same chick that she caught a charge over because he was sleeping with Jade. And then her and her friends went to Jade's bar where she worked at. And they, yeah, they attacked her with bottles. Right? That's why she almost did time. I don't know what she did, but she got off. And she had to do community service and everything, right? Over a freaking serial cheater. The same guy she's crying over on the internet. Right? So, so she was cool with him. She was done with him. Right? 
But as soon as she heard the news came out on his birthday, Jade was at the party with upset. That's when she couldn't handle it. She could not handle it. It's the Jade thing that made her want to take upset back. Because it's like, how dare you? The same chick I caught a charge over? The same chick you made me look a fool over? Because now we're done? Now you're in the public? And then you don't even have to hide it anymore? Well, you never did try to hide it. But now you can be openly with it. And then Jade is probably smirking. You know? So that's why she went hard with trying to get him back. And she made a freaking a stupid audio recording where she's talking about yeah she just finished did this with him like so tacky so tacky you know so it's not like she wants him she just don't want jade to be able to have him even though jade can still have him on the low but she just don't want it to be public like therefore jade could and him could she's afraid and she don't want jade to be out there with him publicly, like hand in hand, you know, it's one thing if you're hiding it, if they're hiding the their, you know, their rendezvous, but it's another when it's like out there in your face, and this is the same chick you almost went to jail over for attacking. So this is what made her go off like that, and what like she's trying to get him back, and she did not go, you know, she goes back on her threats, and he's not gonna respect her like that because he sees her as a joke, because he can do anything to her, and she'll still take him back. Okay, so it's not because she wants him back; she just don't want. Jade to be able to have him publicly like you know what I mean and he doesn't give a damn because as soon as she put it out there that they were done this guy was you know was knocking down chicks left and right and he was seen with Jade or she was seen at his party okay so this is what Cardi B don't want this is this is who she's she's threatened by Jade and I can understand it's like damn you did this you did all that you had me caught well he didn't make her do anything she's just an insecure fool but you know what I mean like you this is the same chick I you know I caught this over I almost went to jail over because you were cheating on on me with her and then now you think you can publicly go with her you know what I mean so this is what's bothering her if it was any other chick she'd probably be like whatever you know what he's gonna he's always been cheating anyway so now he can you know he can continue to do his thing you know without having to hide it or trying to hide it because he's not doing a good job hiding them right so so it's the fact that now him upset and jade could you know petty in a petty way could pretty much if she you know if she go through with it they could like ha 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 trying to like you know poke poke at her like ha ha look we're together now in public so she don't want that that's what she's that's what she's really really threatened by that's her problem that's why she she went hard with taking him back now she's like fuck I don't want him, but I also don't want this B to have him. I don't want this B to take my place and, you know what I mean? And they start poking at her, you know what I mean? So she's, that's what her, that's really what the problem is. It's really she don't want Jade to be able to have access to him publicly. Well, you know, so that's what it is. Any insecure woman would tell you that's what it is. Because as soon as the news came out that Jade was at the party, at his party, that's when she made this video where she was like crying. And that video, like it touched me. Not because I cannot relate. I cannot relate to her situation. But the pain in her voice, where she was screaming. And then you could feel her pain. And I started praying for her. Like it really touched me. I was like, wow. She was like, you never, ah, you big ass. You, you never said, not even a thank you. Ah. I'm like, wow. You could feel her pain. So it was really Jade. 
that emotion was because it's like, how dare you? How dare you still messing with that B? Now that we're not together, I made the public know that we're not together. You still don't give a damn. You still being seen with her. You, you know what I mean? That's what the real, real, real issue is. It's Jade. All that was because of Jade. Trust me. Any insecure chick. Okay? If you honest... You will see right through that Cardi B situation. It's Jade. Jade is the problem. She don't want Jade to have access to to upset because upset made her go through a lot of mess over Jade. Right? So, yeah, he's going to drain her. He's going to drain her financially before it's really, really over. Do you see now he... He produced one of her video, one of her new videos. No comment on those two videos because uh, that's another time, okay? But yeah, so now he's making money off of her. Yeah, because he, I mean, come on, he's Mr. Cardi B. She earns more than him. He doesn't really have anything going, right? That his group is done. So yeah, so he needs Cardi B. So now he's, she, she got him producing Hit her videos like what my girl <laughs> like this is what you have to do to keep him to keep him he's not going to be faithful still now he's being a good little boy for now but please <laughs> he <laughs> he's still going to be knocking down chicks left and right so you could do all these things you could make him work for you you could be paying 50 50 you could pay all the bills that you want you until you respect yourself you value yourself and you really walk away he's not going to care he's not going to take you seriously okay so pay all the bills all you want all that nonsense 50 50 we know Darn well, you make more money than him. You paying the bills, okay? That's why now you want to come out. You want to come out talking about, oh, 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 these chicks on the internet, da da da, are out of touch, out of reality. <laughs> sure, sure, you are out of touch. You are not in reality, all right? <laughs> He's going to drain you, girl, because you are a sucker for love when this guy kept showing you over and over and over that. He is not that into you, okay? <laughs> All right? But you are going to learn the hard way. So anyways, so um, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you. Please like, please share. Leave your thoughts down below, okay? I would love to hear what you think about this Cardi B nonsense. And yeah, let me know. All right? Peace.